Goodbye to all this. As a change from weapons to blow up the world, science produces something to clean up the home, the electric daily help. All done by fast revolving brushes, it puts a shine on boots and shoes that would gladden a sergeant major's heart. The suction takes care of the dirt. Its inventor, Mr. Glasser of Thornton Heath, felt it was time someone gave the housewife a break. He shows how the daily help will get through a day's chores in a few minutes. Short of peeling potatoes and bathing the baby, it does almost everything in the home. Freedom from drudgery is at last in sight. Carnival of the Hats in Rome. Though some guests, including the British ambassador and his wife, Sir Victor and Lady Mallet, are soberly attired, the idea is to see who can produce the craziest hat. Headgear ranges from all kinds of feathered finery to a touch of old Madrid. Some hats are evidently dug out of the attic, while others were produced with a pruning knife, but it's all in a cause. The United Nations Fund, so society forgets to worry. Under the spreading chestnut tree, the winner. Banking into a graceful turn, the world's biggest airliner, the 92-ton Lockheed Constitution, comes in to land at a Californian naval air station, where she officially joins the American Navy. Nicknamed Old Ironsides II, she can carry a small naval vessel, or 60 horses, or 180 passengers, or 400 troops. Now, with 90 aboard, the giant, assisted by six rocket units, takes off and climbs at incredible speed on a non-stop flight to Washington. Up in front it's all dials, but in the back everything is designed for comfort, with a staircase linking the two decks. Flying the equivalent distance of London to New York in nine hours, the Constitution does it in less time than it takes a train to travel from London to Edinburgh. <laughs> 